What's up, everybody? Mike here with Stone Coat Countertops. I'm with Paul, world famous YouTube channel, Paul's Toolbox. What's up, you guys? We're going to have a fun live. Stay tuned. We got some great woodworking projects coming at you. It's Tuesday night, it's five, and we're live. Stay tuned and enjoy the live. Our epoxy rocks, Stone Coat Countertops. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Hey guys, welcome to Stone Coat Countertops. Paul from Louisiana. What's up, man? Oh man, nice out here. You having fun? I'm having a great time. We've had fun all day long with projects. Guys, right now, if you don't know this guy, Paul's Toolbox, his channel has changed my life. I learned how to do crown molding base trim. I've learned how to do all kinds of tips and tricks with do-it-yourself hacks. You blow a hole in your wall because you threw your door and it went <laughs> right into the wall. He's going to show you how to fix it like a pro, right? And I'm going to learn a lot from you today. <laughs> <laughs> I've been learning a lot from you for a while now and that's how I got in touch with you. Um, I was doing some projects. I started trying out this product he has here and I was blown away. I've used other products in the past, none of them like this. Remember when I called you? Yes, I said, man, sir. really, and, and, the, and the things that you've done just blew my mind. I wanted to learn more about it. I want to do some of these projects on my channel. So we're going to get started on it. Yes, right? we're going to have fun. We've had all fun right. all day. We've got videos to bring to you guys that we'll mm -hmm. edit and show you different techniques we uh, learned today, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and i got to show you guys this. This is, uh, this is a painting. You're a firefighter in Louis yeah. New Orleans, right? Right outside of New Orleans, Jefferson Parish. Uh, first, I want to say on a serious note, guys, during Katrina... This guy's a hero, man. He went out and saved a lot of people uh, from that disaster. And, and I heard his story today. He's too humble to tell you guys. This guy's a hero. Thank you for your uh, uh, thank for, thank for you. everything that you thank do. You. There's a lot of great people out there that helped. But one of your buddies <clears throat> painted this? Yeah. Jason Bodwin's a guy in the department with me. Really good painter. Paints all kind of stuff. He did my other logos. And all I did was ask him to take a look at this at your YouTube channel. Uh -huh. I said, "Paint me up something." Oh, so he did it for this trip. This is the coolest. Yeah. This is the coolest thing. You want me to go right here to B roll? Okay, I'll zoom in on you. This is like one of the coolest <laughs> things I've ever been given. I, awesome. I'm, but the only problem, Paul, is you made me look too good in this. <laughs> you look way better than me, anyway. So. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm gonna put that right there, man. You did a great job on that. Mitch, before we get started, do you want to talk about this week's You Got This winner? You got it. I'll sure do that. Let me uh, pull up the right screen. All right. Display. Here we go. All right. This week's winner is wow. Kent Laverne from the You Got This. He wins the You Got This award. He's from our Stone Coat Countertops group, The Insiders. Here's one of his first projects he shared. And as you see, it just evolves to... Uh, nothing but great work here here's an outdoor kitchen he did and he's a woodworker he does it all countertops uh, art projects wood slab projects but the the crown jewel up here guys you got to see it bingo that that wow. beauty he took that casting resin resin project to the next level and turned out an amazing project for his customer here kent you definitely got this. Thanks for all your help on Insiders, all the information you share, and the amazing projects, man. Good work, buddy. Wow, I like that. Did you nice see how he embedded work. that real That's wood in there? Yeah, yeah. Another thing I saw about that project, he put some white in there, and he, he brought a sticker. He did something where he went around the rocks in the logs. Yeah, it looks like so water going around. It's flowing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's flowing. Like it's flowing. You, you, you're doing some projects right now. You teach how to do different upgrades and remodels, and you're working on your bathroom right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're, you're, we were talking about a tub surround and embedding real wood. I think that's a good post to look that, at. Oh, yeah, maybe <laughs> that would be it. I don't want to copy off of you, though. Oh, shoot, man. <laughs> I like this a lot, too. I want to do something translucent. I really think that's I gotta like show, fine. I got to show this. Show that, that. show oh, that. I'll bet the this, light. So this is a great woodworking project we've been working on. We started this with Artists Till Death. They wanted to learn how to work with wood and do casting. But look at how this thing, that's crazy. Will, the light that's will crazy. come right through it. It's going to help a little bit higher. It's going to Oh, oh man. man. Look at that Sharp thing, man. stuff. So even even a little bit of light through that's gonna look really cool, and right now, um, Paul, you're you're a, you're a woodworker. I've seen you've already done some project making like an LSU table. You've made uh, yeah. tables. You've worked with epoxy for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And, I've done uh, 
Not to the not to your level though. <laughs> not to your level. But I've done bar tops and, and different things that uh I love it. I love working with it. So what we're gonna show tonight uh -huh. is the three different stages. So right here we did a we did a seal coat on this earlier today. Yep. This is a, a product we're gonna fill this with casting epoxy. Can we show it? Yeah, let's uh or Mitch has got, got it on beer. Oh, you got it on beer. So yeah, we're gonna fill this whole reservoir and we picked that color, right? Yeah. Why did we pick clay? What what do you what do you what are you thinking here? Well we were we were dropping several different things on uh -huh. it. I thought this would be a cool color, something give it a nice contrast and something that goes with the red, I yes, think. We I, we weren't sure. We played around with a few different colors. You've already done it. Cool looking blue, so that was yes. Nice. I can't say LSU purple over there. <laughs> LSU purple, beautiful stuff. You'll here. like the name. We I'm named, in Oregon. You know what we named it? You'll like it. Purple Mountain. Like oh, Purple cool. Mountain Majesty, right? Yeah, so yeah. Purple beautiful. Mountain. You're a, you're a patriot, man, so I knew you yeah. liked that. Yeah. And then uh, the clay, Mitch and I talk about the clay. It's like the unsung hero of our metallics. We we go to that for that rust look encounters. Yeah. And I think it's going to pop. I out. think that's going to jump. Yeah, I like that. So we played around with it and we figured we're going to do it. So we're going to do a seal coat here. Mm. We're going to do a flood coat here because this has already been sealed three shredded. times. Yeah. We did this on a live a few weeks back. We tested our super cast. Our super cast is right here. It's designed to go much thicker than our, uh, than our other product, our other casting epoxy was able to go. Uh, what would happen is if you get too much heat generated by the chemical reaction of an epoxy, it, it, it just wants to crack, it gets too hot. And so we've been working on this for a long time. This can go much thicker and depending on the size of your project and the scope of your project, you wanna test it on a sample how thick you're gonna go, but this can be safely done at two inches right now. Um, we, we are testing it to really find the boundaries, but I could safely tell you, uh, we're gonna do this two inch pour right now in one pour wow. instead of going yeah. a little bit. Instead of a half time. inch or three quarter at a time. Yeah. Which is what I would Play, uh, you know, play with the four. Yeah, so, we're gonna go yeah, big. Go big or go home. That's it. All hey, right, Mike, send me home. <laughs> I think we saved that for last. We'll All finish right. on that. We'll start with the seal coat. And what I want to reiterate: when, when you're doing a seal coat, you got porous wood. We've already done the casting, and then we've sanded this back to flush. So the casting resin needs to be coated with our normal stone coat countertop epoxy right. for durability. Right. Uh, as itself, this is the casting resin is actually really hard. It's really a great product, but you want to coat that and, and seal it. Yeah. So we're gonna seal this three times, and it's gonna change the look of this wood immediately. It's darken it up. Yep. Have you ever done um, a finish? Well, you've done a lot of finishes. What I've noticed about epoxy, it makes the wood almost glow. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It gives it that depth. It really, it, and it, and it does. It gives it. It just brings out the grain in it. Yes. Yeah. So this is going to be sharp. So we're going to really going to be sharp. We picked this up the other day on our way to the Redwoods. This is a Redwood slab. It was a little piece like this one, but yeah. we cut it in half, reversed it around, poured the blue, left it translucent. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. All right. So one to one, one to one ratio. Um, I'm going to mix yeah, enough. Actually, I'm going to mix enough to seal coat this and, and flood, coat. flood coat. This. Yeah. Oh, so let's just need a big bucket. Amount. He's got his glasses on, so he's gonna pour. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bad mixture. <laughs> so, Paul, uh, you uh, you've been a firefighter for twenty years. Yeah, you've been Love in construction it. doing the trades for many years. Yeah, twenty almost twenty eight years. That's that's great. What uh, what what have you found as you go further in the trades? Are you learning stuff new every day still? Every day, they have people out there that. They probably forgot more than I know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's one of them. So, uh, yeah, you do. You learn something new every day. I love it. And, and the great thing about YouTube is you're always meeting different people. Look here, I, I would have never thought I'd run across you all the way from New Orleans to Oregon. It's but awesome. uh, that's the way YouTube is. It's great. You know what I like, too, <clears throat> is... Uh, is is because you share like you share your hints and your tips and your tricks i learned how to cut crown molding so much different than i was consuming uh -huh. your content watching your channel long before we had and then you called me up when you know paul called me when we were very why don't you keep talking and i'll oh, do this you're hey. awesome oh, you're right. but you got no gloves on she saved it. <laughs> you want mine no, okay. Okay. paul called us up when we were just brand new channel and, and you gave me so much great advice. I, I can't thank you enough oh, for that. Man. 
And uh, Thank you. and I was like starstruck. I'm like, I watch this guy all the time. So man, it's just it's awesome to have him it's here. It's great man. to get together. And I was watching him the whole time. I was seeing these these really cool projects coming up that I've never seen before. Cool. And that's why I said I got to get in touch with you. So it's funny how you got on the phone. I got a couple of questions here. Okay. Okay. So Brandon Swan asks, how much for the super casting epoxy? So the super cast epoxy is the same price as our casting resin now with all the extra benefits. Uh, we, we improve that formula and we're passing that on to you guys. You're gonna love that. Also another question, uh, what is the difference between a seal coat and a flood coat? You wanna handle that one, Mike? Yeah, sure, so a seal coat is one ounce per square foot. If I were to go straight to a flood coat at three ounces per square foot, you're gonna get the air that comes out of the wood and bubble your epoxy and, it, and it, it's never gonna stop. So the seal coats are just preventing and sealing the wood from bubbling when you do your final flood. So if you think about it, on a normal counter project, you're gonna do two flood coats. You're gonna do your color and your clear. They're both three ounces per square foot. On a piece of wood, you're using the same amount of material you're just doing additional steps. You're doing them very thin with a shower squeegee. We're gonna squeegee that out. One ounce per square foot is all you need. If you go thicker, you're gonna fight those bubbles. So we do three of those and then one flip. Especially on porous wood. Yes. And oak. Oak, uh, oak is super killer. porous. And you got, you may need more than three yeah. seal coats on oak. Yeah, Walnut, oak you brain. may need less, you know? Yeah. So it's yeah. just a just a jumping off point. Rond and painted wood is okay. Um, what, do you, how, what do you suggest on that when you go with prime or paint? Yeah, we use uh, we use a paint primer in one, just two coats, and, and two then coats. and then you're ready for your flood coat because it's not right. porous. Yeah, it's not porous. You're not gonna, okay. I wanted to show uh, the uh, the the squeegee here. We we realized that we used our last squeegee right before we went live, so we jumped <laughs> in the car and went and got some extra squeegees. So you guys don't understand. We're we're hustling to bring you live, right? <laughs> All right. So thank you, Catherine, for mixing this up. Um, this this epoxy's got some air in it, so it looks like milky. You're right. Don't let that alarm you. It's not going it's to. Uh, mm. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stay that way because it's not it's gonna, gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be crystal clear once you get the bubbles out. I want you to squeegee this out <clears> over <throat> that piece, and you really got to see what this is gonna do to this. You see how it just darkens it up and brings out the grain. Look at what it does to that casting. How it just. So that's another thing to keep in mind is. You're gonna you're gonna bring your casting back to life after you sand it. Don't worry about the scratches and that kind of thing. Yeah, that's that just it's beautiful. Man, that is incredible. That's incredible. <laughs> I love it. That is beautiful. Look at that. You just see it coming coming to, to life. The black around that uh, bank is yeah. just, that's just it's very beautiful. That's just the natural wood, you know. And then we'll just hit your sides and fingers. Yeah, actually what we do with with How this, you, we'll just you take just our hands off. Yeah. You got it. Great. Look at that, brother. Is that is that crazy? And look at how clear we left it in the yeah. center there. Oh. Man. And all we Please did... tell my wife this is what I'm going to <laughs> do. <laughs> I told her I was doing stone coat on the uh on my uh bathtub above it. So you guys will see that on my video if you look. I'm doing something with this stone coat like this because this is just too pretty, to, too pretty to pass up. Can you believe that, bro? Look at that. Yeah. And that's exactly what you want to do. Is just you yeah. don't need to leave a bunch on there. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, you're good. And then we'll. Uh, I'm gonna go through and check those front edges. Okay. Looks like that side. Is, um, Where? Your uh, left side there. Good. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's it. Yeah. Oh, that is beautiful. That thing Crazy. came alive on the camera now. Just right there, yeah. <laughs> so we get a lot of questions. I got scratches in my sanding. Is it going to hide? Yes, look at that. Yes, it's going to hide. And this doesn't have to be perfect looking right now because, like right. I said, this is just a seal coat. Yep. It's going to really come to life even more when you put your flood coat on. Yes, sir. And you'll see that in a minute. Yes, sir. So I'm going to okay. grab this paper towel so we can we can move on to the next one. Okay. And uh, awesome. I'll give you one. You can just clean your hands. Thank you. Thank you, boss. You. Oh, Jeez, boss. You're the, you're the You're the Isn't that cool? Yeah. Crazy. Look at the pearl look. That's just. Now, it's really important on, on a project like this. Um, this is a pro tip. We sealed this twice. And the reason we sealed this is so that air doesn't come out 
of the side of your wood into your casting. If you, if you don't do that, you're gonna get air leaching out of the side of your project and you're gonna get never ending bubbles. Uh, Patrick from Boston, he comes out here, did a class, he called it chasing scuba Steve. He didn't seal his edges and he's always trying to torch those out and fall and, and it'll drive you nuts. Yeah, you know? Yeah. You'll be hitting the same bubbles over and over and they just keep coming out. Yep. All right, here we go. You ready for it? So this one, it's already been sealed three times. And sanded, right? It's already had the casting done, and now it needs the 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. So instead of using yeah. the squeegee, okay. we're going to yeah, go to the trowel. This, and then, um, did you like using that trowel earlier today? I like this. Um, I use just a, a cheap trowel from Home Depot. Sure. When you, you showed me this, explain to them how you have the, the right angle on here right. to show you what angle you need to, 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 to work with. And you set it up like this. That's telling you when you do it this way, that's the angle you want. Right. So if you, if you go too flat, you, you pull go too, too flat. Much. You pull in, yeah, you're pulling too much. So. So I'm gonna put this out. Now again, that's milky. Right. But we're gonna torch this crystal clear. Let me put a little bit more, and we'll scrape the you excess off. You got it. You want to try all of it? Um. You're, you're he's better you at it than I am. I'll do half. You do half. Okay. No, you got the whole thing. You're almost done, man. You're a pro. Yeah. Uh, so Paul's a spokesperson for uh, for a number of tool companies. Use you to 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 really talk about their tools, man. And one yeah, thing I noticed about you, you don't talk about tools unless you believe in them. Right, right. So what companies are you? Uh, what companies' what? tools do you work with? I work with Louisville Ladder. I love their ladders. Rockwell Tools. They they uh, they sell some excellent power tools uh -huh. and and uh, braces and things. Uh, I use sawhorses and stuff by them. They work. They, they own Works, which is another company. And then I work with a uh, Swanson Tool Company. They make levels, a um, couple of tape measures that I that I invented. Um, and then uh, shoot, let's see who else is. Uh, You've been Megapro. inventing stuff for years. Yeah, yeah. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I, it's that's crazy. You. I don't have things like he does. Though. You see that? <laughs> tell him about your. Uh, tell the him about your. Um, the, the router jig. Oh, that they've jig seen is, the slab jig. That, that slab seen jig it. is crazy. <laughs> and I'm going to be using it on this, guys. On mine. So one thing that I like, too, okay, is... Uh, going down the thing on the side. Huh? Yeah, well, here, I'll, you know what? I'll just push the rest of this over. Push it over I'll here. I'll just come we'll right just here. Push that over. over. And we'll, we'll, we'll start chopping this thing. So I'm going oh. to get that primed. So, I get carried away when I start talking. I forget what oh, I'm so doing. Oh, so do I, man. So I'm going to pull okay. all those brushes. Yeah. Pull all the bristles. Wet it up. And then I'm going to start chopping this out. See all those lines? We're going to get rid of those. Yeah, and then we're going to torch this thing. And that's when it really starts to start popping through. in. Man, this is beautiful. The thing I like about you, Paul, is... You really appreciate a good project. I know. Uh, I, could, I genuinely see that. Like what we've done today, I was into so it. Fun, man. <laughs> yeah, I could do this all day, man. You're just. It's. It's like we're two little kids just oh, playing, yeah. man. I'm it's, like a kid in a candy store. Yeah. With this, guy. <laughs> this and tools, and I, that's it. That's me. And you're gonna come to the Artisan Summit. You guys haven't heard about the Artisan Summit. It's. Uh, it's gonna be next year, April 3rd and 4th. It's gonna be in Las Vegas. We. Uh, we're gonna be at the Westgate. And you're going to talk about your journey and kind of how how you uh, you were on QVC. You've invented tools. You're a firefighter. You've taken your craft, turned it into cash by doing the different side hustles oh, you've done. And yeah. and uh, I just think that's I think your story is inspiring. That's why uh, I'm, I'm just Thank so you. excited to have you um, have you there, man. And and YouTube, like I said, it, it brought us together. Man. Yes. It, it, the things they have nowadays with social media, I wouldn't have believed were available. They weren't available when we were younger. Right, right. There's you so many opportunities now to learn how to do things. We were talking about, you know, I learned the trades a lot from working with my dad. And then when there was something that, uh, an electrical thing or a plumbing thing, or i go get books. And we're yeah. reading books. Yeah. YouTube wasn't around, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh. Front corner. On, on this one? Mm -hmm. Right here? All the way there. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Good. Now I'll get the torch out and we'll start clearing this thing up. Where did I put the torch? <laughs> Guys, we're live and we have no torch, so we're going to grab that real quick. Bloopers! <laughs> <laughs> what? It was a weird. Here. here it is. Oh, uh, perfect. I'll grab it. Got it. I'll grab it. Oh, thanks, Paul.
Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. So I'm going to torch this out, and it'll really, it's got a lot of bubbles in it right now, and that's fine because you got plenty of working time to get these out and make it really crystal clear. Yeah. The one thing that's different um, that people find, a lot of guys, the biggest compliment is when somebody's used epoxy for years, they try our product, they go, first of all, I don't need to be stressed to use it. Second of all, it's very user-friendly. Yeah. It's easy to work with, and it's consistent. So yeah. that's You don't have problem. I haven't had a problem with anyone. Look at how just that yeah. one pass is cleared up. Like a wave, it comes in. And then one thing that you don't want to do is it's not it's not perfect yet. We'll let that sit for a minute, let it let it kind of do its thing. That air is going to rise, and then you can come back, back again. again. And you and this by in, in a few more minutes when we keep hitting this, this thing will clear out so well for us. And what's funny about this piece of uh, oh yeah, get that bristle out. What's funny about this piece of wood is a good friend of mine. We did their kitchen. And we, uh, we did their countertops, and he had this old piece of wood lean, leaned against his barn. And, so. and he's like, oh, is it, oh, it might be yeah. just an imperfection. Yeah, it's wood. just in the wood. It's just a piece of wood. It looks like a... Uh, it's, it's so this guy, uh, his name was uh, um, um, Northrop Garf Garfield. He had this uh, against his barn. He goes, hey, you want that thing? I go, yeah, I'll take that. It sat here in the shop. We let it dry out. Got, and it's amazing. This thing looked... Funkified, man. It was, <laughs> and, 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 and wait till you see the video of what this thing was before. So it's crazy. Yeah, it's it's look, look at how that purple. Yeah, yeah. It's just a work of art. All right, we'll let that sit. Let's start our casting project. Ah, let's start the casting. I'm gonna get another. Uh, Catherine, can you grab another bigger bucket for me? Sure. And then I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move this one over here so we can get this casting right in the center. Okay. Thank you, brother. I can't believe this is gonna be such yeah. a beautiful project. So when we're done, this one will lay out like this. You know, yeah. it'll be yeah. that, it'll be that. Oh yeah. I'm gonna right. can we move those pails and I'm gonna move this where those oh, are. I have a good question are. here and Seven, or I don't know how to say that. Sorry, guys. Does the art coat have good heat resistance and durability as well as UV protection? And the answer is definitely. Art coat has great UV protection and the same heat resistance as the stone coat countertop epoxy. Yeah, art coat has a little bit longer working time, and it has uh, increased uh, UV protection because. It has more what they call howls, which is uh, which is a hindered Amy light stabilizer, which really helps with your UV protection. When we started um, making a formulation for artists, their biggest thing is I need it to stay um, really UV resistant, hanging on somebody's wall, and they use a lot of light colors. So when you're doing a white countertop, yeah. use our art code as right. your as your so as your amber amber looks. Amber. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you got and it. And yours is, is much clearer than the other ones that I've seen. Thank you. They yellow faster than the others. <laughs> Yeah, I Thank haven't you. had any problems with yours, but uh, I would say, you know, outside is the only thing that you may have some problems with yeah. anything like that, though. If you have white outside with yes. epoxy. You don't want to go outside, outside and, and use a white because you're going to show that color change yeah. a lot more than an earth tone, an earth tone or a perfect. wood project, yeah. you know, things like that. Cypress, things like that, outdoor, outdoor kitchens, perfect for this. They're beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. All right, All here right. we go. I'm going to grab our, our super cast. <clears throat> now, we used earlier today... We use quick coat. The reason we use quick coat to seal this is because now the same day we're ready for our casting. Um, I'm going to show the full video of how we did this, but what we've done is we took and we silicone this board to the bottom of our project. I didn't build a form because I'm only filling this little reservoir here. And so we use silicone because I know I'm going to flip this over and router this thing off to release it, but it's going to be a permanent reservoir yeah. right now that's not going to leak yeah the last thing we want is a it's, little leak it's just come flowing out yes. the next morning you come back yeah you your box is on the floor <laughs> <laughs> so you got to you got whatever you do to form up your river tables your castings anything like that it's got to be watertight yeah all right let's do this it's thick but it'll eventually ooze out and 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 it's dangerous to do a casting live because if you screwed up, everybody's gonna know about it, right? You can blame it on me. 
<laughs> I don't blame you. So we're two to one. Okay. Let me let you pour this because okay, I can't I'll, see those lines. So, no worries. Uh, I'll go to this Titan one. Glass 88, 88 asks, what color of blue is that? So that is our Crater Lake blue metallic powder mixed into the Supercast. And the amount of metallic that's uh, put into that Supercast allows the light to still shine through. So looks like that was just answered by one of our team members today who's helping out, which... Uh, if you don't get your question answered today by uh, Mike or or I or anybody on the uh, Stone Coat Countertop team helping out, don't hesitate to give us a call or shoot us an email, stonecoatcountertops at gmail.com, or give us a call tomorrow, 541-450-1976. You're better than me. I'm thinking to myself, wow. So Paul had a great question. He says, how do I know how much to use? Well, I didn't prepare for this, and so I should have gone to my team and said, guys, here's my measurements, here's the thickness, here's the rough width, rough depth, and then uh, they would have pulled up our volume calculator and gotten me that answer, but I'm eyeballing it, and we may have to mix up more, or we may use too much. Yeah. So we're going to use a stick. We'll just look at the bucket and say, okay, I think it'll fit in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how well my eyeball was, <laughs> yeah. man. Um, I'm going to use a stick to mix this. The reason I do that is because we're going oh, thick. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, we're going to go thick, and so if I use a drill, you got lots more air in there than necessary. Right, right. You don't want to do that with the, uh, with the casting. You got it. So we're just going to start mixing that up. Um, while we're mixing, Mitch, is there any... You want to mix that Yeah, up? I'll mix it. You talk. Is there any questions uh, that we can answer? And first of all, guys, if you, uh, if you haven't subscribed, our channel really... We go live once a week. We do tutorials on countertops, woodworking, art. Thanks for do-it-yourselfers. Thanks for contractors. We really have a, a, an arsenal of content that we use that has helped us in our daily business to, to really make and create great stuff. So if you haven't subscribed, uh, consider that. Uh, we'll, we work really hard to uh, bring you guys great projects. So thanks for tuning in tonight. And be, be sure to share this with your friends. That helps us, as you know, when you're creating and building a YouTube channel, the more organic search results that you can get by your audience sharing it, it really helps us. So if you would do that for us, it'd be awesome. One and of the nicest guys I've ever met. You oh, got to do it. Thank you, man. <laughs> and, Crush and that like button. We're going to link uh, Paul in this description. Um, you got, oh, look at how clear that is. Yeah, yeah. And, and you notice it's a little thinner. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Uh, that's just so that it will flow and stay clear. It makes it mixing easier. easier to the, the whole thing. We, we worked on this for a long time. I tell you, you're constantly coming up with new stuff. Trying, That's man. what I love about it. Trying. It's not something that you just buy on the shelf and you have one thing. Right. He's, he's constantly adding things. That, so you have stuff to make vertical. So you can, you can right. put epoxy vertical. You have things for casting. You have things for flooring. It's just he doesn't stop. I don't think the man sleeps. No. Really he does, does not sleep. <laughs> I can sleep. verify, and so can Mike's beautiful wife, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I, we do have a good question from Paul here. Mike, you want to take this. What do you do about the drips forming and hardening? When is the best time to address these? Oh, good question. So Paul, uh, Paul and I, we were doing some work on a, doing a matte finish for honed yeah. marble because that's kind of the direction you think you're going. And so when I did that piece... I just used my 50 grit metal sanding disc. How fast did it take us to remove uh, all those drips? Seconds. I yeah. mean, it, 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 it we, we have videos on how to remove those drips. Another thing that you can do, which we just did in New York, if you watch our, our video um, on the marble project that, that it's, it's titled Save Thousands on Your Remodel Project. We did that in New York City. Well, we couldn't sand in her house after those drips had coagulated. <laughs> so we, we pre-taped it with tape. We pull that tape off and cut the drip. So there's two ways to do it That's that are another, really easy. Uh, what, what tape is that? It's, it's, um, Tyvek tape. Tyvek tape. Yes, sir. Tyvek tape. Don't use painter's tape or something. In the right. It won't. It'll just yeah, glue. It'll it, hey, just glue. Hey, hey Mike, we, got, we have multiple requests now. Uh, you and I were just talking about this. They want to see a vertical wall on a live. Yeah. So, yeah tell them our plan on that, man. So we're going to get that put together for you guys. Mike and I were just figuring out the logistics as well as Catherine. We're going to build something up and get that going for you and go live and show you a vertical wall. Oh, that'd be sweet. Huh? You know, I just cool. talked to a guy who... He used our vertical kit, he went vertical, he made it look like water, and he let it puddle at the bottom, put like foam in it, oh, so it's coming man. down and yeah. foaming. That'd be, that'd be sweet. Would you guys like, let us know in the comments below, what do you want to see next? Do you want to see a countertop project, a wood project, a vertical wall project, or miscellaneous? 
A, B, C, or D, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let yeah, us know in the comments oh, below. <laughs> Too many options. I know. <laughs> or do you want to just not see us? <laughs> All right, that's good. Let We're me. Ready. Ready. So what I'm going to do, Paul, because I we we both agreed getting light to shine through this is going to be hot. Oh right? yeah, that's going to pop. So so we're going to go thinner on this. You don't want to add a lot. Right, and, and I want to get something like a little spoon or something. A spoon would be good, but we're not prepared oh, there. Oh, okay. A pinch. Here we go. I'm going to use a drywall. All right. right. And I'm just going to get in here, add a little bit. You don't need much. It, co it goes a long way. Yeah. So start mixing that. Here we go. Lots of folks are talking and commenting on how they watched and learned you, Mike, uh, heat up that sheetrock knife to take care of those drips on the New York video. That is a very quick and easy way to do that. So if you want a visual on that, check out our video when we go uh, help Natasha out in New York City. We heat up that sheetrock knife with a blowtorch and it makes quick work of those drips. You're getting nice color. Don't you like that color? And, oh, and see, so you start to see the metallic. You can still see it's translucent. Yeah, bit, and, and what's nice about this is you can see it at a thickness. And if we needed a little more, I could add it and mix it in here, yeah, but you okay. can't take it out. Right, right, right. Once it's in there, it's in there. Yeah, I think this is good. Paul, yeah. Paul wants to see a pallet wood project. Paul, the key oh, thing on pallet idea. wood is you don't want any petroleums or oils that was sitting on that pallet before you started working with it that can get into there and rep repel the epoxy so make sure you have a fairly clean uh petroleum free pallet to work with to start i love the idea of pallet projects because it's it's using something that was basically free and that yeah. like like our two by six farmhouse table project that we did it's inexpensive wood yeah. and we turned we turned it into something really fun. Man, that. that is fun that is fine. Clay was it a good like choice. Lava. It does, <laughs> man. It does. Okay. All right. You ready? So you're going to pour about a quarter inch at a time. Okay. And then we're going to uh, torch torch the bubbles as, as we you go. go. As we go. That is sweet, man. Keep going. Look at it. It just looks like lava flowing into there. And this is where we'll find out really quick if we're not watertight. Yeah, if it starts draining like... <laughs> Look at it on. All right, you're ready for your next your next coat. Yep. It's quick. Because you don't have to worry about getting all the little bubbles out. See how, see how quick it pops yeah. yeah. Even this being crystal clear, those bubbles come it's out gonna, so yeah, quick. It's going to pull it out, too, with the heat. Huh? I mean, we can burn it quick, is what I'm saying. You got to be careful. Right? No, the, no? It, I'm bur I, you could burn the sides, okay. too. You know? okay. Yeah, we're ready. ready. We're ready. Brother, man, that is that is fun. <laughs> Look at it. Looks like it's coming alive. Yeah. <laughs> you good? Yeah. yeah. Oh, two inches on there. Oh, we got a leak. Just kidding. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> good thing I didn't shake and drop. Oh, oh, oh getting ready to run for the tape. <laughs> I don't think tape would help us. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Chewing gum. <laughs> I jinxed us. It's going to leak now. Uh, Chewing gum. That's a good idea. <laughs> Chewing gum. Whoa, that's cool. Silly putty. You, you can't, you are going oh, over it a little awesome. bit. You got to sand it to it. No, you know what I, you know what I do, Paul? You see this black line at the yeah, top Yeah, I like here? that black line. I, I think we just bring it really close, close to, to the that. top. I said we get it. Yeah. yeah. Now, one thing I've noticed, uh, I've noticed about working with our supercast is the supercast because we're going so thick it is a hundred percent solids product but it still shrinks a little bit and so if even if you go full it can it, it hardens and tightens up just a hair so you're even when you get it flush it tends to drop just a hair so you can always add another uh, when you go flood well, you can get just add it to fill that a lot of times i'll overfill and then i'll i'll use my router jig to get everything flat and then that's what i that's did why i didn't know if we were doing that okay you okay. know you know we could do that paul because you're gonna i did that here that's and it looks let's just let's just go straight all the way to the top let me torch that i like this color man or you can leave i mean you guys no. say what you want you keep going you keep going you're the man you tell me whoa I'd say that's I'd good. I'd say right, yeah. No, no. That's beautiful. I'm not gonna put my finger on it now. Swirl that up. Okay. 
Yeah, this is fun to do too. Yeah, get your designs in it. Well, it'll continue to move quite a bit. Yeah. This one. Wow. That is gonna, and this is gonna be very <clears throat> translucent. You're gonna see. You're gonna well, see. When we route this back down, we're gonna have to seal coat it uh, two more times again. Or not. Yeah, I'll probably do three. three. Probably That's, do three. Oh, so two, three, three more seal coats. Yep. Okay. Let's just do this right here. Boom. And then that'll show. Oh. We were live. <laughs> oh. We were live. Just tell him I hit you. Paul hit me when Paul, I was doing this. Paul hit me. Paul hit me. Yeah. I would not want to. I would be, not want to be hit by Paul. No. No. But just believe oh. you're not worried about it. You know what, Paul? I, I heard somebody say that Paul. Is the man men want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Fire department will never leave me alone on that one. <laughs> the new, you gotta Don't get a jacket. The man men want to be, right now there. I'm gonna have to hide it. I'm gonna hold the part, but I'll be messing with it. <laughs> and then we'll, uh, you wanna take that stick and just move it around a little bit? Sure. Yeah, I, I gave us a little extra, but we weren't short. We're good. Didn't waste too much. That was not bad for eyeballing it, right? That was awesome. Yeah. Why don't you put them in a couple of bowls and you can do the coaster if people are down there? Can you know what we'll do? Can you show that? Yeah, we'll pour that in a little cup and, and that's going to get us pretty high. That's and, cool. And that'll, stuff. wow. We'll test it even thicker. <clears throat> okay. You know, oh, you're going to see how that's like, that's go. like, that, that's hey, a good three inches. Another test. Yeah. yeah. You know, might as well, yeah. might as well use that and see what happens see what when you pour it that thick. Man. Right. Some of our insiders might go taking that when it's solid and then taking the saw and making coasters. Let me see if that is light. I think we went a little bit too dark though, huh? Too much in it. I don't know. Let me see. Let, 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 let me go hang it near the light. I hope not. But it looks pretty solid here. Nah, I think you're good. You're good? I it'll think so. I think it'll light up. All right. Cool. I think it'll light up. And that's a hard judgment mm. to yeah, do. You yeah, know? It's, it's hard because it looked translucent. You don't need, when yeah, we and doing, I think we'll be okay, man. Okay. All right. Well, that's done. <clears throat> the flood coat's done. The seal coat's done. Uh, man, that was, we got that a little epoxy here. I say we do an impromptu uh, stone coat piece. You down let's to do make, a, make another project? Yeah. Let's you guys want to see another project? We got some time left, right? You want to do a Carrera one that he wants to do? Uh, yeah, let's, you want to just do that Carrera again to kind of, and just use oh. that one technique like we're, yeah, like you want to, all right, you know what, you're, I'm not going to do Carrera though at my house, I'm going to do this, <laughs> already made up my mind, so you're no longer, I love the Carrera, but, but you're going to do this, I got to do okay, that, okay, all right, so, so, uh, do you want to do something else, what I don't color know. Do you need me to do? what do you guys want to see, let's ask the audience, let me move this over and put that in the center, don't say you want to oh. see Paul leave, <laughs> <laughs> we oh. like you so much, that's why you don't move. <laughs> I know. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> There's oh, a new one. I just gave this cool one. It's still coming out. It's like you gave it a new design. It was great. Dad. All right. <clears throat> really Dad, they all want to see so more. Good. Huh? They all want to see more, Mike. Oh, cool. Do more. All right. What do you want to do, Mike? I want to do a piece with that big vein that we did. All right. But we're going to just make this basically a whole vein. Okay. You, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yep. All right, so we me. Stone yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah. This is uh, so you don't want to leave your product sitting in a bucket heating up unless it's the casting. That would be okay. Right. But this is this is this over is gonna, yeah. This is our normal stuff. So let's get to work quick on that. Yeah, we gotta. It's gonna start setting on us. <clears throat> Here's white base tint. You can use that paint stick and just mix that up a little bit. Oh, this is a good opportunity for you for me to show you what the alcohol and spray paint does. Yeah, we'll do that let's as do a, a base. Bit of that, yeah. yeah, that'll be that you'll like. That's this. cool. To get the cells out, huh? Yeah, you keep talking. You're live. I'm leaving. Yeah. I'll be right back. Oh, Paul. he's gonna leave me. <laughs> Next sure. thing you know, all your subscribers leave. And then I need some. I'm gonna do a little veining on here, and uh, he's gonna show me. <laughs> He's gonna show me uh, one of the other techniques with the spray paint. Kind of sticky. And um, I'm anxious to see it. 
I saw you do it on the videos when I was watching you. Okay. Now to, to be able to just be right here. Now you'll see some great camera tricks. Ah. All right, so if you want to um, <clears throat> editing, if you want to trial that out, I put quite a bit more yeah. than you need, but just yeah, push off, push it off the uh, edge. We got a lot on here. Mute okay. Swan asks, should I use Bondo to put on brick to seal prior to using Stone Coat countertop epoxy? And no, you don't need Bondo for a brick. The, the Stone Coat epoxy will bond very well to masonry projects and bricks like that. Uh, the brick will have air that will want to release. So uh, like the wood, you're going to want to do a real thin coat at first on that brick. Uh, let it dry, lightly sand, and then you're ready to coat over that. And uh, the brick, Mike, we can add that to the new upcoming series, Will It Epoxy. Will It Epoxy. <laughs> so Catherine and I are getting on a plane tomorrow. We're going out to San Antonio, Texas to meet up with Rhonda, RK3 Design. She's teaching a class on how to do stone coat countertop epoxy, advanced color training. It's going to be epic. We're going to bring the cameras, bring you some cool content. So stay tuned. We'll be posting things on that right away. Cool, man. You guys are all over the place. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do, Paul. I'm gonna spray some black spray paint, and then this is isopropyl alcohol mixed with our gold metallic. And uh, this is a, we have- 91% alcohol. You got it. Uh, how'd you know that? Uh, I've used it before. <laughs> He's seasoned, man, He's seasoned. Uh, this is just gloss spray paint with the little epoxy tails right here. Yeah. It's all it's all design special. You special know? design. <laughs> and then uh, I'm just gonna fog this. Okay. And then I'm just going to hit this. Oh, wow. And these are cool reactions. Cool. Now, at first, it looks a little funky, but it keeps uh, going. And see you can see. It fractures that you can out. See, it's just like getting this look here, but with, I mean, a different base color. Yeah. But that's the basic. Yeah. Wow. I like that. Yeah. Mitch, can you, does that show up on overhead? Oh, how, yeah. how cool that looks, man? Mm, yeah. That's just, so you could basically do that with any, any, Color metallic to give it a different metallic tone. just makes it. Yeah. yeah. That's the easiest okay. technique ever to do right there. Should I screw that up and keep going? Yeah. Yeah, let's just do it. Man. All right. All right. Should... So oh, we're just having fun now. Carla said, Paul, it's like frosting a cake like you make at the fire department. <laughs> <laughs> you have a I need an apron. <laughs> there you go. So I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do a base to my river. I'm gonna okay. put a blob of epoxy here. Now I could take spray paint right on the paint stick and make just, a river, that's uh, one way to do it. But that's what, yeah. go ahead. That's what we did earlier. Yes. Uh, we did that together earlier, Mitch. Yeah. You know, but you're gonna show us another way too. I mean, it, there's so many different ways to work with this and you have so many ideas. That's uh. So now we got that base cell, it's kind of pushing everything <clears throat> yeah, away. Yeah, look at this. Now, the cell's coming through that. So you're gonna uh, wow. take some of that black spray paint okay, and just be conscious of our wood projects. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Coat that stick and start dragging some. I'm gonna hand you paint just to start dragging through. That's good. And then drag this all through that. Drag it through. Dragon a friend of through. mine, uh, one guy went over to, uh, guys send people at the um, firehouse sometimes when he, they ask you to go to the store, oh, you need anything? Yeah, guy was going to Subway. So nobody wants to go to Subway for the fire department because oh. everybody's got their own oh, stuff they want. Yeah. Well, one of the guys says, look, he says, uh, so-and-so, this guy, one of the guys, he does not like anything on his sandwiches. He just likes it plain. So they ask they call over and he says, "Hey, what's uh, what's one of the, what's he want on his sandwich?" Uh huh. And the other guy sitting there goes, "Ah, dragging through the garden." And he hung it up. So he, he put everything on. And the guy gets the sandwich. I don't want this. Drag it, drag through it through the garden. garden. I let, so that's what you think of when yeah. I'm saying drag the stick. Yeah, good man. It was a Dave Yeomans. He, he passed away, but he played. He played, He uh had practical jokes constantly. A great man. Oh, that's good awesome. friend of ours. And uh, drag it through the garden. I'll never forget that. All right, we're all right. Trying. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna grab some uh, 
A little okay. bit more black. You want to put a little bit more black just right on top and then we'll torch it and watch okay. what happens, man. Did you want to do a different color? Uh, that's all I can get a sticky one. Yeah, and then your fingers start slipping. Yeah. yeah. Get a thick one. Nice. All right, well, uh, so watch this. So I'm going to torch this. When you torch it because we have epoxy under that. Yeah. yeah. Come on, you do it. Here. I'm going to say you do it. I'm sticky. Now, I'm just going to make this a little wider. That's pretty that is, sweet, that right? I cool. about to say super chill. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, that's, yeah, that's cool. That's an effect. Let's, uh, let's hit it with a little bit more gold just to tie yeah, it all together. Sure. See what that does in there? Yeah. Now, I'll take that stick up a little bit more. Just layer some. The options are endless with it. See how that tied the whole yep. thing in too? Maybe a little bit more. I want a little bit more black right through that black over here. Okay. This is a it's a fancy little, but we had some extra epoxy. Why Just not? Just goofing off. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah. Men Convinch asks, <clears throat> what is the mixing ratio from pigment to 91%? So that is a, a half a bag of our metallic powder to eight ounces of 91% isopropyl alcohol. Just shake it up vigorously before spraying and you're good to go. Wow. Paul, what are your thoughts, man? So, so we learned how to do a flood coat, right? Yeah. How, how, how flat that is, is that? That is, that is absolutely beautiful. So that laid out super flat. That is you know, we haven't torched that a final time. Uh, we yeah. better do that. You want to torch that for me? Yeah. You know what I see. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. That looks, that's good. This thing's setting up. Yeah, this has got to set I'll up. sand all that excess off, but I, you're going to see that black line. Which yeah, is, that's so we'll, fine. The guy that we bought these from, he had torched the edges, and I like that black, yeah, that black that. definition. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't have thought to do that. That gives, I me mean, that gives a really cool line all the way around us, and it, I, that just, that's going to bring it out. Our mold is Once holding well. It, it has, it has, yeah. and you can see, see the little, Little dots of air. Let's torch this one more time. Swirl that too, maybe one more time for the camera. Okay, I'll swirl it. You can come back and swirl this really late in your project if you wish. You can dab it with the rag late. You can do whatever you want. If you don't do anything, it's going to do what that purple one did and just do its own thing that you don't control. So it's, you don't need to, but you can get some cool looks doing it. And the thing I like about using clay here, it contrasts, but not jumping out at yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a classy and then, look. And, and you're not really seeing what it's going to look like. Once that clear coat's on there, you get your flood coat, coat on there, then you really, that's going to make it pop. You know what this would be? The ultimate Lazy Susan. <laughs> you know <what laughs> yeah. I mean? Can you imagine that? That's a man's Lazy that's Susan right there. It'll be a radio. I don't know if you put a heart in the middle of that too. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Okay, no more heart. Now, oh. now we're a man's lazy Susan. Oh. That's a football. That's a football now. All right. Looks awesome. So over, over here, metallic choice. you see how that soaked in that yeah. resin? Yeah. And just leave it. Let let, let that it happen. Go. It's gonna. We we get calls. It's blotchy. It's because it's your it's first seal first. Yep. And you keep doing that. Sand those edges between coats to get it nice and smooth. And by your third seal coat, it's gonna lay out like this one over here. And then this here is oh, the, that's not the screen. We gotta get the oh, we gotta hit that edge. We gotta, we gotta wet it. I mean a dry edge. There we go. Good, good, good eye. Which one in Good eye. I'll check it all around. I didn't look at it before. That's beautiful. Gosh, that's beautiful. Okay, Paul, I gotta talk I gotta talk to you about something, man. Okay, man. Alright, Mitch, this is important. Uh oh. This is important. So oh, yeah. Paul has made some really cool projects. Uh, the guy's the guy is the man that men want to be. Uh, he's a firefighter. Go he's a hero. He's an inventor. He's 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 a business owner. He's he's just the like when I when I went to the uh, hotel this morning to to pick you up. 
everybody in the lobby already knew Paul. They're like, see you, Paul. Like, he already made friends with everybody. He's that guy. And, and I, I talked to the wall. <laughs> yeah, genuine, genuine guy. Man, you're I had awesome. a blast, man. So great, um, great time with you. Only very special few people <clears throat> have earned the You Got This Award, man. Woo-hoo. I know I didn't earn it. <laughs> yeah. <but> yes, <laughs> you did, man. But uh, I'll proudly wear it. That's right, for bro. sure. You man. got this, man. My brother. Yes, sir. You're all stone coated out this now. Will be, this will be on the plane flight home with me. I'll <laughs> I'm gonna, the little kid who got a blue star on his forehead. <laughs> yeah, I got it. <laughs> Uh, you got anything to say before oh, we sign man. off? Oh, man. Look, you got this. This is great. <laughs> Best time I've had. I, I, I couldn't tell you in how long. This guy knows knows more than I could ever know. I'm really enjoying it, man. I've had a great time here. I love doing projects, and I love working with them. Thank you. Uh, hey, this is great. Mitch, anything to say? <clears throat> right. Yeah. If we didn't get to you guys... Give us a call tomorrow, 541-450-1976. Thanks you so much for being here with us tonight and welcoming Paul. He did a great job. Don't forget, before you leave, crush that like button and uh, just share with us, share our videos with your friends. That'll help us out a lot. Thanks, everybody. You guys are awesome. Hey, guys, awesome. visit us anytime at StoneCoatCountertops.com. Call anytime for free project support. And until next time from Stone Coat Countertops. You, you got, got this. this. We'll see you on the next video. Later. <laughs> nice job, man.